house fire possibly and like i'm getting that very very if you had a house fire he's definitely involved in it he knows everything about it he's telling on that he's telling on about how they're you that what everybody's plans were about this inheritance how they were planning to unalive you how they attempted to unalive you um how they stole a house from you how they stole this inheritance they stole a car from you um property there's a bunch of stuff that was stolen from you he's telling on everything and he's begging for witness protection um was that wixack whatever whatever the hell that's called when they, they give you a different alias and everything else um but he's like begging for that but like i don't i don't know if they're getting that but when he goes in jail if he's not in jail already he's 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 going to be pc status without a doubt like immediately um he's gonna be in there sobbing his eyes out like literally he's scared to death um he's not built for jail at all okay so he worked with your ex and, or this, and this couple, too. There's a lot of people involved in this, okay? They're holding on these people from your past. Look, there's a couple. There's your, there's this, um, there's a lot of people, okay? When I tell you there's a lot of people, it's like a whole group called Covenant Secret Society. But this couple as well that's holding on and people from your past that's holding on to this inheritance, he's telling everybody. They're all nervous. They're all telling on each other, really. They're all nervous because they know they're being watched and they're watching you. And they want to know how you know what you know and everything else and what you're going to do with this information. They don't realize that they're too busy watching you. They don't realize they're being watched. And they don't realize they're all telling on each other. Like, literally, like, I don't think there's one person in this whole situation. There's a lot of energies here, too. I don't think there's one person that's not telling on anybody. I feel like they're all telling on each other. And if they're not yet, they're all going to be because they're all looking at all lot of time i'm talking about there's um yeah you're protected from this and your new beginnings are, are protected they want to apologize though and i'm telling you they're begging for protection um and they know when they're around you they're heavily protected because you're protected you're you know you're extremely protected you're an earth angel you know you're surrounded by angels so anybody that's in your energy that you're around anybody that you have love for your love protects them but you learn to that you know to turn that love off because what they did to you and because of what God, even after what they did to you, you still had a lot of love for these people and you gave them so many chances. But God was like, no, you need to cut the cords. You need to just, you need to stop because you don't understand. They're really trying to take your life here. Oh, but I love them, God. No, you don't. You don't understand. You really can't because they don't give a fuck about you. You learn that lesson. You cut the cords. Now they're not allowed in your energy at all. And they don't have your love, okay? That's protecting them. You don't, They don't have your energy. They don't have your love that's protecting them. That's what was protecting them. Now they, they don't have that. It's completely game over for them. And then, then they thought it was a great idea to go to whipping up magic and attacking their own selves. It's just not smart. Not at all. But they're telling everybody... Not little loon. There's um, undercover cops in involved. Uh, there's crooked cops involved. Um, there's crooked law enforcement. Like there's like in the government. There's like a lawyer or a judge that's involved. That's crooked. That's telling. Um, there are just so many. I think every person. I don't. I can't think of not one person. I don't think not one person in this whole situation that's not telling. They're all telling on each other because they all know they can feel it. When you're about to get raided, um, you can feel it. You can feel when it's about to happen. You can feel it. You know what I mean? They feel it. They they all know. But they're they're like they they're just dumb. But like they were fucking too busy watching you, not stalking you, seeing what you got going on, and too busy attacking you that they didn't realize they were being watched until it was too late. You know what I'm saying? They didn't realize until they felt that feeling. Oh shit, it's happening. It's coming down. You know, it's happening. They feel the walls closing in on them. Um, if they would have been like, you know, had a brain cell in their head, they would have realized like, and I'm, I'm surely getting too like these morons were being followed and everything. And they even noticed it and was just like, oh, no, they probably thought that it was like part of their gang stalkers. Like, no, it's the police, idiots. It's the police. You're being watched. It's not just like, you know, your cult club and secret society. No, it's not your homies getting your back and it's your homies turning on you, you idiots. It's And it's also the fucking feds watching you. Dum, 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 dum. CIA, ATF, um... There's a, I mean, there, I feel like there's a lot of different law enforcement, um, agencies and not just like, I'm not talking just like a little local. No, I'm talking about like, there's multiple, um, this is a huge operation that's about to be going down. It's not just like, I, it's not just like the feds either. It's like, I feel like there's a lot. There's like DEA, ATF, um, 
CIA, possibly um, FBI, definitely. The feds are definitely all up on, on this case, without a doubt. Um, and there might even be some, like, Homeland Security, I don't know, U.S. Marshals, something. There's a lot, because there's so many different people, there's so many different crimes that were committed, and they've been under investigation for years. When I tell you, they've been under investigation, like, a deep, like, and they've had a deep undercover cop, um, like, I said, they could deep undercover, like, CIA or, or FBI or multiple, I don't even know, that's been, you know, undercover in this case for quite some time. So, anyway, they, they, like, you know, that you might even think is a piece of crap, but it's really not. It's actually an earth angel. Um, they're just very, they're undercover. All right, they're undercover. Um, they're actually bringing you this justice, okay? You'll understand when it's all done who it is and what it, you know, when you find out, okay? But they're actually been protecting you. <laughs> Excuse me, confirmation. So, there's just so many, and I feel like there's even, like, in, there's even, um, law enforcement that like we're unaware of that we like we don't even know the names of like there's like special agencies that are coming in that we don't even know um that they made like special like um forces or whatever to like their own like little whatever um little group of whatever i don't, I don't know how to like say uh I, you know what i'm trying to say but like they have their own there's there's a lot of different law enforcement um involved in this they're all like working together because there's so much different there's like homeland security. there's a lot there's a lot a lot a lot a lot involved in here um because these people got their hands in everything like literally everything um it's disgusting people are going to be going to some people literally are going to possibly get the death penalty um you know, possibly, I'm strongly getting that, um, a lot of people are going to get life sentences without the chance of parole, or if they have the chance of parole, it's going to be like, they're already, they're going to be passed away already, um, so they're all, they all know, that they, they can feel it, they know they're going down, they're starting to see the signs that, like, they're telling on each other, um, because people are acting different now towards them, they can, they know, they, they're starting to, they finally took a step back and realize, like, oh shit, um, you know, maybe you were speaking about it, okay, and they're, like, started watching you, and they're, then they're starting to know, it's like, oh, wait, that's right, they're piecing things together, and they're realizing, oh, shit, and maybe, like, they're still stalking you heavily, um, which they're getting in trouble for, too, because they're in your phones, too, um, they have your phones tapped, uh, but the authorities also have your phones tapped, so, you know, the cops have been watching them, watching you illegally, uh, cameras in the houses, um, you know what I mean? They, they've been invading your privacy, uh, and stalking, like overly stalking. They've just been doing this so, like so much. They are being watched. Every move they make, every every word they utter, probably every thought they have is being recorded. Well, it is because Archangel Metatron is recording everything. But um, you know what I mean? Like every there's not a thing they can't fucking they can't even like you know do like an air puff fart. <laughs> without like authorities knowing okay <laughs> they can't scratch their fucking ass cheek without the authorities knowing the authorities know everything that they're doing all right um especially when it comes to cia the cia and fbi um you know they have technology that we have no idea about okay that they i'm telling you the fbi know for a fact has this like black thing that like what a red what a red light um what do you call it that they can see through the walls to see if somebody they can literally see through your walls um so, you know what I mean, let alone, you know, uh, what else other technology they have. They have very high-tech tech, um, technology. But every every word they utter, everything is being um, recorded. Every single phone is tapped. Their houses are tapped um, or bugged. Um, their cars are bugged. Uh, motorcycles are bugged. Um, bicycles, possibly. <laughs> fucking pedal bikes might be. I don't fucking know. But, like, literally, skateboards can be fucking bugged. I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know if it's that much, but <laughs> possibly. I don't fucking know. There ain't nothing slow about I'm telling you right now, there ain't nothing slow <laughs> about the fucking feds, okay? Or the CIA or any of these departments that I'm speaking on. They're not smart. I mean, they're not slow by no means. These people were not smart. What they did, they thought they were slick. They thought that they, um, they were above the law. Because, again, there were some crooked cops that were involved in this, too. So they really thought that they were Gucci because they had, like, a local police in there. Like, are where you fucking went? There was, like, a whole local police department that most of, like, the department's going down. Because, like, there's a lot of cops um, that are crooked. Like, almost the whole fucking department, if not the whole fucking department. I'm slowly picking that up. Um, but, uh, there's also... There's, like, a whole police department that's, uh... 
under investigation for crooked cops. But there's also, like, they have, like, crooked cops in different, in, like, you know, different boroughs and stuff, too. Um, that, that are, like, not all of them are, are crooked, but there are, there's, like, one, there's one department, um, that is extremely, like, almost every cop is crooked in. But then, like, they're starting to clean that up, though. Um, but, uh, what do you call it? There's, like, a department that's, like, under investigation. Like, the whole fucking department just about is under, in the, is under investigation. But whatever but there is like you know say for your i don't fucking know um philadelphia and then like whatever like there's a 25th district a 24th district you know what i'm saying there's like different you know um there will be like you know some cops in the 25th that are crooked then there's like a couple over here in the 24th and you know what i'm saying but then there's like one whole fucking department that's being like i don't know if it's philadelphia or where it is but there's like a whole fucking force that's like crooked but um wherever it is you know what i mean um but yeah, like, the, the, but they're, they're on their investigation, and the, they had, like, but they had different departments, like, different places, or different towns, we'll say, like, all right, if you're from fucking Bucks County, there's, like, you know, um, like, like, Marsville, like, you know, um, Langhorn, Bristol, they had, like, a cop, too, from Langhorn, they had, like, Falls Township, they had, you know what I mean, they had so many cops that were undercover, I mean, or not, well, undercover, too, okay, I meant to say crooked, they have, like, couple, there were a few Bristol cops that were undercover, or, or not, well, undercover, okay, damn, I guess undercover, too, I meant to say crooked, um, but you know what I mean, so they really thought that they had all their, they dotted their eyes and crossed their teeth, they know they were really fucking dumb, they thought they were secure, they thought they were above the law, they're not, um, maybe even some of their, their cops that they thought they had paid off, they might even be undercover, and they thought they were paying them off, and that they were on their side, when really they've just been collecting a fucking, they've just been doing their job, <laughs> so that could be it too, because they do have a couple cops in different, like, areas that they thought they were paying off, um, I'm struggling getting it that, like, possibly they're undercover, and, like, they, they played, or they're not undercover, they were actually, like, you know, um, locals, like, but they, they thought they hadn't paid off, but I feel like they, they've just been doing a case this whole fucking time, um, also, there's also undercovers, there's actually a very deep, they're, they're in this group called Coven Secret Society, I feel like it's the second, maybe, the second highest, um, person in command, the second in command is actually an undercover, um, he might even be the high up now, I don't know, but that was his, that's why he's been undercover for years, because he had to get his rank up, because, it, you know, it all goes by ranks, like, you know, the top guy, it's gonna know the most, right, you know what I mean, the president's gonna know the most, then it goes down, you know what I'm saying, so, like, he had to work, or, or, you know, he had to work his way up to get the most knowledge, you know, before, so that they can, that's why I'm thinking it's second in command, all right, maybe if this, if they just recently had a new, um, uh, president, or whatever the situation is, um, that could definitely be the undercover cop, but, um, you know what I'm saying, so, something like that's happening, but that's why this has been going on for so long, it's because they needed to, they needed to get everything, all the information, they just had to get their ranking, you know what I mean, they had to get, they had to rank their way up, now, this undercover that I'm talking about, that's, like, second command, um, he, this is actually an earth angel, okay, he just, he had to play his role, um, it was for the better cause, like, so he might have had to do some illegal stuff, uh, but it was for the better cause, because he was, you know, he had to get this information, you know what I mean, but he is actually an earth angel, um, and he's bringing you justice, so, but this person, I feel like, is just, they're, they're working with the feds, okay, because they got themselves in some trouble with some shit, and, um, something very serious, uh, a little while back, and they decided to tell on everybody, um, then, and they were just been working with them, so, he, you know, he thought he was all Gucci, you know, um, there's a lot of people involved in this, there's a lot of crooked people, and, like, there all are, just about, you know what I mean, the, I think the only one that's not crooked is the fucking, uh, what do you call it, the second in command, <laughs> the, you know, the one that's the, the, the deep undercover cop, the authority of whatever, um, FBI, CIA, yeah, keep your sword up, okay, you're very honest, very loyal, very, um, very wise, very intelligent, okay, um, 
person and because you're you're keeping your sword up from these people is why you're getting your good luck and fortune while everything's coming in because you're keeping your sword up do not allow these people back in and you're heavily burdened about this because they look what did i just fucking say i just said they're heavily burdened i turn it upside down there's a heavily burden card 10 of, the 10 of wands are heavily burdened about your power and about you fucking their emotional pain too because you have your sword up and why they can't smile in your face and stab you in the back because you cut them the fuck off and they didn't get to finish the job because you cut them off you listen to your guidance fucking idiots guys can we get their likes out please and thank you yeah they can't sleep at night they're scared to death they're scared to death they don't know what to do they feel like they literally, they're, they, they're sending you some sort of psychic attacks too in your sleep. So it would return to sender and they're hella nervous about this information, okay? About um, this message you're about to be getting, okay? Ow. And about how they're get, you're getting, you know, your justice and they're under heavy judgment. They're going to fucking hell. Oh, oh, got a Charlie horse. <laughs> My soul's going to be Charlie. Oh, darn it. Oh, I don't even know why I'm getting trolling horse for now because I am not dehydrated. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that's horrible. Like, you know, when you get a trolling horse and your toes go like this, I have to hold my toes up right now so they don't, like, <laughs> grow. It's fucking horrible. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh. Oh, oh gosh. That shit hurts. <laughs> I hate that feeling. I can feel it. Like, it just wants to, like, my toes want to go. <laughs> curling up like somebody could be just like balling their fist up like white knuckling it all mad <laughs> like, oh, why won't he or she just stop why won't they just lower their sword so i can come in and stab my knives in their back fuck out of here <laughs> go do your time you're so gangster enough to do your crime go be gangster enough to do your time all right painful permanent like i just say stab so i can stab you in the back <laughs> Flip the fucking deck over and there's a ten of swords with a guy with the fucking swords in his back. <laughs> but you walked away. See, look. <laughs> Don't come through, spirit. Like I just said. Oh, why won't you just, why won't you just lower your sword so I can come back in and stab these swords right into your back? But no, you walked away. And you walked away at a perfect time before they could do this painful permanent ending. They could have literally been planning to stab you in the back, literally, and leave you for for an alignment. They tried to send you, um, they tried to send you, this is what they invested in. They invested in a painful permanent ending for you to literally unalive you. But you walked away before they could do this. They could have even took money. They probably could have even got fucking paid to do this already. But you walked away, so now they might owe people fucking money. They might have to pay this money back. I'm sure only getting that. They got paid to do this to you. It was an investment that was already paid, but you walked away, so now they're really bugging the fuck out, because the person's probably like, well, you know, and they're doing money boxes on you, so I really strongly feel like they owe somebody money, and they're doing money boxes on you, and it's a return to sender, you could have did a return to sender, or a money box removal, or something like that, or your spirit team was just right on it, and was like, absolutely not, and you want to keep playing around, I'll send it right back to you, and then like so not only you know did you walk away and they already spent this money i'm strongly getting now they're having money blockages you know they they that they paid for themselves because they were doing it they paid to have it done to you but it went right back to the sender and now they're having money problems and they already spent this money i'm strongly getting it and i'm strongly getting somebody's um some about social security fraud Somebody could be losing their social security, something about social security fraud. Or maybe they have social security under your name or something. There's something about social security fraud. I don't know why that just came very came in very strong right now. Um hmm. but you took this leap of faith, this new journey, you're in your purpose, okay? Now you're you decided to walk away from these people and make it a painful permanent ending and to go invest invest in yourself, heal yourself, invest in yourself, and you found your purpose, okay? You got into your purpose, they're trying to pay to have you they're trying to get you to sacrifice your purpose. It's not fucking happening, okay? 
they're caught because you're in your purpose. You're doing what God sent you to do. You can't be stopped. You can't be blocked. You can't be attacked because you're too protected because you're in your fucking purpose and you're an earth angel. So it's instant karma. And, and, it, and it's even 10 times worse now that you're in your purpose. And if they're attacking your purpose, which they're doing, which they're definitely doing, they're not attacking you. They're attacking God. So that's really fucking dumb. How do you think that's going to turn out? Not so good. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be if someone's passing away for sure. But um, they're trying to get you, you to sacrifice your purpose. It's not happening. They're paying good money to do this too. And is they, they're trying to get you to sacrifice and walk away from your purpose too because it's bringing you a lot of abundance. They're doing magic on your creativity, your fertility, okay? But everything's being balanced out. You are extremely creative. You're extremely fertile. You're in your purpose. You're absolutely tapped all the way to F in. You're, you're you know, showing up all the time, you know, and you need to, okay? And you have been. So, you know what I mean? Now they're fucked. They're, they're done. You're manifesting your whole new, you know, your whole new world, but they're doing some sort of magic um, on your fertility, your creativity and your fertility um, is not working. There's something about energy harvesting um, is not working. All right. Everything is being balanced out. You're getting this ace of pentacles. It's a gift from God. It can't be stolen. It can't be taken. Um, it's like business, careers, finances, materialistic stuff. You have many options coming your way. And also they cast a lot of illusions to get some sort of illegal abundance. Okay. But they didn't realize it was an ace of pentacles. It's something that can't be stolen or taken. And if they got their dirty little rubby paws on it at all, um, it was only a facade. It was only an illusion that that they were going to keep their dirty little crummy little paws on it and it actually worked out for the best for you and you'll understand at the end when it's all done and said um why and because what i mean by this is whatever they stole from you you're getting it back and you're going to get back way more way more than what they stole because you're going to sue every person involved and like i said there's a lot of police forces that are involved in here um there's just a lot. There's like a lawyer, judges that are paid off, and you know, you can you can sue the whole fucking justice system if you wanted to. I want it personally because you're already you know getting a major abundance just from you you know your purpose alone. You're you know um, that's bringing you enough abundance in itself. Let alone what they stole from you, and then just suing the the. Uh, if I were you, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but if for me. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't sue the, the justice system. Like, I'd rather let them keep the money and hire um, good, you know, good cops and good, good, you know, authority figures, okay? Because um, you have enough abundance coming to you from what was stolen from you, what, what you're getting from your purpose alone, and what God's gifting you. And, you know, from these criminals, there's so many criminals involved that you're going to have, you're, you're just going to be very abundant. You're not going to need the money from the justice system. But if you, I mean, do you, boo, whatever you want to do, it's, it's, you know, it's your world. I mean, I don't fucking know. It's your decision. But for me personally, I want it. Um, I'd rather the justice system keep that, that money and i use it to, to bring justice and to get good pay for good cops, you know, good, uh, lawyers good judges or or whatever but it's completion it's the end of a cycle they're trying to block this and have you kicked out but they've been exposed all right and they're under heavy judgment for this all right yeah justice they're nervous about you getting this justice and you getting this message or maybe i'm strongly getting see how that land this justice card laying over top of this page of pentacles um there's they're also like i said they're paying off the justice system but you know well confirmation all right so not only that they're very nervous because they could i feel like somebody got served paper they got served or or the authorities or like okay or authorities kicked their fucking doors in all right um they're done. This could be a prison cell that they're sitting in right now. I don't fucking know that they they can't sleep at night because it's too fucking loud. Especially for for this person, you're not used to that shit. Shit, especially your first time in jail. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's to somebody that isn't about their life. You know what I mean? Like they're all about it, like doing the criminal shit, but they they ain't about jail. They ain't they ain't about that. And they're scared to death. Are you kidding me? Not built for jail at all. Let alone prison. 
or yeah, these people from your past. You're getting justice from everybody from your past, dude. Everybody from your past, from whatever they're holding on to. This ex of yours and this couple, every, there's so many different energies, okay? They realize you're this earth angel. Um, you're coming into union possibly as well. Um, you've been very patient, okay, with when it comes to this inheritance and their and this and everything. Your patience and your faith is um going to pay off tremendously. All right, and the fact that you never, no matter how dark your days were, no matter all the chaos, destruction, upheaval, the mayhem that these people, you know, purposely did to you, you never let any of that turn you dark. You never lost your faith. You never lost your connection with God. You always, you know what I mean, and you stayed so angelic the whole time that's going to pay off tremendously all right there might be a little bit more just i mean a little bit more wow well, justice okay might be a little bit more patience that's needed but again it's only because there's so much involved here this is a huge huge case but um trust me your your faith your patience is going to pay off tremendously and how you act how you know what i mean and just your especially your faith your faith is going to pay off tremendously and your patience too but And these people that were in the justice system that were crooked, they're hella nervous too. Because there's people losing their jobs. They're, you know what I mean? They're scared to, you know, now just imagine being a cop and having to go to jail. Some of these people you locked up, okay? You're, you you lock some of these and just think about, like, they're crooked cops. So they're not the good ones. They're the crooked ones that, you know, have their own or ego, you know, the, abusing their power. You know, you could just imagine having... <laughs> Imagine how that's going to be for them. So, yeah, they're scared to fucking death. They're telling on everything moving. They're telling on every little detail. They're just giving information. They're giving information that's not even being asked. They're telling things about, like, what they did when they were in kindergarten. Uh, like, because they're scared to death. Because they're like, oh, shit, now you're telling me I got to be in a prison that I put most of these people in this prison. Are you fucking kidding me right now? So, you best believe they're telling on everything. Yeah. The, see how this ends over top of this? There's also a workplace, but there's a father, uncle. There's also a judge losing his job. There's a judge for sure losing their job. And this judge is terrified of going to prison because this judge, I feel like this judge is going to have to go to prison in another state because, you know, it's. I don't think this, this judge is going to have to, yeah, they're going to have to go to fucking prison in, like, another state or something because there's no way that this judge is going to be able, um, is going to be able, they're going to have to even do this, this case. I feel like they're going to have to do it in another state because if, you know, they're co-workers, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, what's that called? Um, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, fucking, um, oh, I forget what it's called. But yeah, this whole, there's like a whole police force too. I'm strongly getting this. Almost just about the whole fucking police force. There's like one whole police force. Like just about almost, almost every cop's getting locked up or losing their jobs at least. Um, but there's a judge for sure losing their job. For sure. And whatever little empire they thought they had going on with all these cops and all the different crooked law enforcement and everything. All right. They're, they're, um, the whole thing has come is coming down okay now I'm not, now like most of the cops you know not all of them are, are like this but this are, there is one very very crooked almost every single cop is and maybe not everyone but for the majority most of this police um, department that i'm picking up on it's a local department um is very crooked like almost all of them are are, are fucking crooked as shit okay they they plot um they uh you know, they frame people, they do the, they do drug busts, then they, they fucking, you know, they, they, they bust people with drugs, they do the drug, like, they're just so crooked, um, they've been under investigation for quite some time, too, but, you know what I mean, not all of the cops are, like, guys, and anybody that's like, oh, F the police, you're stupid, you just sound ridiculous, you're a hypocrite, you just sound stupid, just shut your mouth, and, and you're a hypocrite, because if your child, if something happened to your child, or whatever, if you were in a, in a life or death situation, you would know damn right well that you would want the police to come find your kid or to help you, so don't even tell me that you want it, and you're a fucking liar if you say, and you're a hypocrite, so how can you say F the police, first of all, it's racist as fuck, okay, um, you're hating a whole, 
a whole community of people which don't even listen just let it sink into your head for a second when you say that how stupid do you truly sound honestly saying f somebody that that is their job is to serve and protect you yes i can hear i can understand when you're saying f the crooked police yeah but not f all the police people that are are that are here to serve and protect you you sound like a fucking idiot you sound so uneducated okay and you're a fucking hypocrite because if if it was you that needed the help and if it was you know what i mean you would want them to be there so don't even you, you sound ridiculous just you sound really stupid just really stupid but there's a father figure, uncle figure. Um, there's a lot of energies here. And the emperor in the reverse. Like, now, uh, if it's talking about an energy, it's like all the kings embodied in one. Um, you know, if it's talking about a person, like it's all the energy, all the all the kings embodied in one, but in the reverse. So it's a pathological liar, habitual liar, narcissistic, egotistical, you know, cutthroat, very detached, um, narcissistic, manipulative, just pieces of utter crap okay um whatever you're getting this major blessing the ace of pentacles everything's being balanced out it's coming from your creativity and your fertility and it's also going to bring you major abundance that you're manifesting okay they're caught for they someone to try to sacrifice you they did some sort of sacrifice sacrificial um ritual um they're they're they, you know they that they invested in in your purpose trying to get you to walk away from your purpose it's not happening they try to make it a painful permanent ending to your purpose and your blessings it's not happening return the sender they're fucking dumb um they fucked around and found out they missed the wrong one yeah you're moving away and you're very powerful your days of missing out on opportunities are completely over, okay? You moved away or you're about to be moving away. It could be from a workplace, a father, uncle, or whatever, from all these fucking people you're moving away from. Keep your eyes on your goals. If you've been wanting, if you've been planning to move, you're moving, okay? And you're coming out of it, and because you're keeping your sword up, you're coming out of this rough water and smooth sailing, okay? You're very powerful, too. Um, when you did, there was some sort of move here. I feel like it land, this is that landlord situation I was telling you about before. Um, or like that where you worked, you rented a place from this workplace or whatever. Or you roomed up with maybe your roommates with somebody you worked with. Or when you were at work, they stole your keys and went into your home. That whole situation, they were being watched, all right? There also someone's trying to run. It could be a father or uncle or boss or maybe it's a judge that's trying to run, but they're being watched by authorities. Their every moves are being everybody's move is being watched. Okay, um, they they're all they're all done. Yeah, they're very nervous too because they see that like you you there's no blocking or stopping you. Okay, you're not your days of missing out on opportunities are completely over. You're not because you're standing in business. You're standing in power. You're you know you keep showing up. They can't stop you. They can't block. You. You, they won't they can't okay and they're all fighting about this thank you spirit they can't spy on you anymore no there's some sort of illegal um spying that they were doing they, they were had somebody that was in the authority figures that were abusing their power um to tap your phones there's also the good feds that are like the good